up my phone and mouse welcome back to another video in this video as you can see here i have some duct tape and i'm going to be showing you guys how to make some duct tape wallets and bags and stuff like that so let's get let's jump right into the video all right so to start off i'm going to take all these chains and stuff out and i am going to open this up at least attempt to This is actually really pretty duct tape, so if you want to make this kind of cool looking, you might want to get some uh, cool looking duct tape. Oh, there we go. Bye bye trash. Alright, so we have our duct tape right here. and the First thing we are going to do is, I think it's a little obvious, take a little bit of duct tape. This is very hard. All right, so I have a piece this big, so now I'm just gonna snip that off. All right, so we have our first piece of duct tape. Now we are going to get multiple about this long. Alright, so I have three strips, more or less equal. Some are um, longer than others, ahem, this one. But that is okay. It doesn't really matter. Now, as I kind of started to do in the time lapse, um, we are going to. Ah, uh, these are very sticky. We are going to attach them together with as much space possible like that and I'm gonna continue doing that so yep and there we go that's done and now we are going to fold this in half so ah not yet Ah, this is such a mess. Okay, I'll get back to you once we fold it in half. I have to restart. One, two, and three. Okay, now, as I said, I'm going to flip it. All right, it's not the best in the book, but this side is fine. So now we are going to trim the excess. There we go, that was nice. And you can just do this and make it a pocket pouch. So now we are going to tape that up. All right, here's one piece that we can just stick it together. Here we go. And the second piece. And I have three pieces to just ensure that it is nicely sealed so there goes one piece two pieces that i can just trim off the third piece i'm going to cut in half because i put the one on the side in the middle and I just want to ensure that it stays there and it doesn't come off. So 
So there we go. That is our little pouch where we can just um where we can just stick little coins in. And I am going to add a little extra a little something extra. So now I'm going to take a corner. I'm going to snip it. So that way that is has a little hole there. And then I am going to stick this on there. In. Let me show you guys a magic trick. Three, two, one. There we go. Isn't it so nice? All right. Well, anyways, here I added a little ring keychain thing. So, yeah, I just stuck that on through the little hole that I snipped. And here is your little penny pouch. Whatever, you can just carry it anywhere. It's pretty cool. And now I'm going to show you guys how to make a little duct tape purse. So, let's put this off to the side and back to dealing with duct tape. Alright, so I'm going to do another time lapse and I'm going to show you guys how exactly you need to cut the strips. So let's go. Alright, so I have some long strips of duct tape. They're super long because now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to fold it in half. So this is really bad, so I'm just going to take some scissors and smooth it out. All right, here it is. I forgot to hit the record button, but I did snip off the excess right here. And it is very, very poorly done. It's duct tape is just so hard to do and once you do it it can't be undone as you saw I tried smoothing it out with scissors it didn't help too much but it's better than nothing so anyways now we are left with a sheet of duct tape really cool looking actually and now we are going to fold it again again and we are going to seal these sides with duct tape so let me get some pieces of duct tape all right here's one piece of duct tape that I am going to stick on, make sure it's nice and even so you don't mess up again. And that isn't even, but you cannot undo duct tape, which sucks. So I'm just gonna have to live with it. All right, there we go. It isn't very pretty looking, but it's gonna have to do. And I just folded the flab. If you don't have a flab, if you don't have a sticky part on the flab, you can just cut it off. It'll probably look a lot nicer. All right, and let me get my next piece of duct tape. All right, here it is. And I'm just going to stick that on. Yay, that's uh, so much better. Oh no, but I did it the wrong way. Oh yay, I was able to take the duct tape off. Okay, let's try this again. Like that. Okay, that is so much better. And we stick it. And here I don't really have a sticky part. So that I'm just going to cut off. And there we go. That is cut off. And this is our cool looking little galaxy purse. Now... As you saw before, I had some of these chains, so I'm going to show you what to do with them. Alright, and after hooking them all together, I am left with a nice long chain that I'm going to attach to my little purse. So, again, I'm going to cut a little snip in this. All right, I actually had to make it bigger on both sides. And now, for the moment of truth, let's stick it in. Oh, wow, that's cute. Oh, and of course it comes off. 
No, wrong one. Why am I having so much trouble? Okay, there we go. On to the other side. Woohoo. Hooray. Let's do this thing. Booyah, purse made. Isn't it just amazing? Roomy inside. Even got a little chain for you. The chain is a little big and thick and fat, but you can really add anything you want. It can be like super tiny or super fat like mine. It doesn't really matter. But anyways, here is your purse. Here is your little penny pouch that you can just stick in here. So those are all the duct tape crafts for today. I hope you liked this video. If you did, click that like button and click that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. We'll